Okay, so in this question, we're looking at the SEC 2016 Leaving Cert Higher Level Paper 2, Question 3. So it says, show that cos 7a plus cos a over sine a, 7a minus sine a is equal to cot 3a. Okay, so first thing that should really be jumping out at you is this kind of looks like cos a plus cos b. Okay, so you go to your log tables and go to trigonometry and where are we looking for cos a plus cos b here's cos a plus cos b so this was our 7a this was our a and what do we end up with we end up with 2 cos it will be 7a plus a over 2 plus cos 7a minus a over 2 so what's that look like 2 cos 7a plus a over 2 cos 7a minus a over 2 and then on the bottom line we have something very similar again an a and a b effectively so sine a minus sine b go to your log tables where is there a sine a minus sine b is here so you get 2 cos a plus b over 2 sine a minus b over 2. So 2, 2 cos a plus b. So it would be 7a plus a over 2 sine a minus b. So that would be 7a minus a all over 2 is equal to now cut what is cot? Cot 3a. Well, cot a, cot a is defined as cos a over sine a. So cot 3a is cos 3a over sine 3a. That's the first step done. And we then continue to simplify the left-hand side. So you get 2 cos. This would be 8a on the top line divided by 2 is 4a cos 7a minus a is 6a divided by 2 will be 3a all over 2 cos 7a plus a would be 8a divided by 2 cos 4a sine 7a minus a would be 6a divided by 2 is 3a is equal to cos 3a sine 3a one last line you might notice that 2 divides into 2 cos 4a divides into cos 4a so you're left with cos 3a over sine 3a is equal to cos 3a over sine 3a the left hand side equals to the right hand side so we can say qed quite a nice little proof there Okay, so the next part of the question then says that given cos 2a is equal to 1 ninth, find cos, sorry, cos 2 theta is equal to 1 ninth, find cos theta in terms of plus or minus root a over b. So we want to get cos theta on its own. So there's a few different ways of doing this. We can try and identify using the double angle formulas where there is a cos 2 theta. Where is there cos 2 theta in our formula? So it's going to be a double angle formula. Here is a cos 2 theta and we could write it then have an equation just in terms of cos theta. Anywhere else we could have cos 2 theta and this would allow us to find what tan is and then you use right angle triangle to find what tan uh, knowing what tan is you'd know the opposite and the adjacent so then you'd use Pythagoras to find the hypotenuse and then you could find what the cos of a is you could sub cos 2 a in here which is 1 ninth which would allow you find sine again and then you would use um, 
Pythagoras using a right angle triangle again to find the hypotenuse. Um, you'd know in this case if you knew sine, you'd know the opposite and the hypotenuse. So you'd use it to find the adjacent and then you could find si um, cos. To begin with anyways, I'll use this method here. Use this formula. So what do we get? We get cos squared theta is equal to a half 1 plus cos 2 theta. So we get cos squared theta is equal to a half plus a half, multiplying the half in and replacing the cos 2 theta with a ninth. So cos squared theta is equal to a half plus 1 18th. Cos squared theta is equal to what does this end up being? Is it 10 eighteenths? I think 10 eighteenths. Oh, forgot to put in the theta. And then how do you get cos on its own? You take the square root of both sides, so you get cos theta is equal to square root of 10 over 18. Cos theta is equal to plus or minus square root of 5 over 3. The reason there's a plus or minus there is because all square roots have two answers, the plus version and the minus version. When we introduce, this is quite an important point, when you introduce a square root, like I have coming from here to here, you take the plus and minus version. If the question originally had a square root in it, then you wouldn't take the plus or minus version. To run you through the other way in which doing the you could do the question, uh, I'll talk about the sine squared a, but it would be the same method that you'd use here. You'd then just go and find tan on its own. So sine squared a is equal to a half. Sine squared a is equal to a half. One minus uh, cos. What is it? Cos two a is what's in the log tables. So filling that in with our theta, we'd know sine squared theta is equal to a half minus a half, multiplying the half in here and the half in here. Cos uh, would be one ninth. So sine squared theta would be, this is gonna be minus one eighteenth. This a half is the same as nine eighteenths. So sine squared theta is equal to 8 eighteenths. Sine squared theta is equal to, well, I can go and find sine theta. Sine theta is equal to, is equal to 2 over 3. So I found sine theta. Draw out your little right angle triangle. Put in your theta. 3, 2, we need to use Pythagoras' theorem. 3 squared is equal to 2 squared plus a squared. I'm just going to call this a. a is equal to 9 minus 4, or a squared, is equal to 5. a is equal to the square root of 5. But remember, when I introduce the square root, I should take the plus and minus version of it. So this is plus or minus root 5. So you get two answers then when you go cos theta is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse plus or minus square root of 5 over 3. So as I said, two methods of answering the question. It's 25 mark question. Realistically, it should take you 12 and a half minutes. Video is now 9 minutes long. Let's look at the marking scheme. 15 marks for the first question. Really, really generous. You should be really happy with that. As... Um, as an identity goes, it's quite a nice, easy one to prove. And the second question, 10 marks going for it. Again, very nice, very easy question. There is a third method, as they're saying. So this was method one, this was method two. Method three, as I alluded to earlier on, was using this formula right here. Using this formula right here you'd replace the cos 2 theta with 1 ninth. That's what they've done here. 
and now there's only one variable you would effectively write it as 1 minus t squared all over 1 plus t squared is equal to 1 over 9 solve it that way you get 1 minus t squared is equal to 1 over 9 1 plus t squared 9 minus t squared is equal to 9 minus 9t squared is equal to 1 plus t squared quadratic equation go and solve it once you've found tan you can find tan theta and once you've found tan theta you draw out your right angle triangle like we did with method two there and find the cos hopefully this video is helpful for you anyways